Welcome back to our 10-part holiday series. You've reached the final episode because guess what? I have crammed gifts six through 10 into this one stellar video. Now remember, this special takes us back into the 1980s to basically highlight all of the really cool toys that were fresh, that were exciting, that were made in America. I'm your host, Chad Tommaso. Here are the final five gifts, and I hope you like them as much as I do. Gift number six. Gift number six is ColecoVision. Released in 1982, this was the console that took the world by storm. The graphics were like nothing we've seen before, and the game lineup was stacked with a couple of heavy hitters and a lot of awesome newbies. Of course, it had Donkey Kong and Junior Donkey Kong, but do you remember Mousetrap, Subrock, Zaxxon, and Smurfs? I loved ColecoVision. It was the 1980s for me. Thank you, ColecoVision, for coming out and being my friend. Gift number seven. Gift number seven is the Rubik's Cube. This toy defined the 80s and would go on to be the best-selling toy of all time. Now, the first prototype, called the Magic Cube, was built in Hungary in 1974, but in 1980, it was slightly redesigned and distributed to the world with its brand new name, Rubik's Cube. I hated and loved this thing at the same time, and you'd be lying if you said you didn't take those damn stickers off and rearrange them so that you looked like you had actually solved it. It's okay. Everybody did it. Gift number eight. So my gift number eight is Game Boy. This handheld beauty was released in 1989. Now at this time, there were other handheld consoles on the market, but this is the one everyone wanted, including myself. Now I remember playing Tetris on that thing for hours, and I wasn't even a Tetris fan. I can only tell you that this thing made my long drives with my parents that more palatable. Gift number nine. So gift number nine is the Armatron. It was Radio Shack's shining moment in the 1980s. Let's be honest, in the 80s, we all had Star Wars on the brain and having the Armatron was like owning your own freaking droid. I was goo goo for Armatron and it did not disappoint. Gift number 10. So my gift number 10 are the Transformers. Not even just one of them. I'm talking about all of the Transformers. These robots owned the 1980s. They had the cartoon, they had a feature length movie, and one of the coolest toy lines ever. There wasn't a kid I knew who didn't have a stack of Transformers in their room. Hmm, those were the days. Those were the days. And you could actually transform these things without busting a nail off or screwing up the toy and breaking something off. These things were legit. That's our show. I hope you enjoyed it just as much as I did. As you unwind from the day and ease back into your couch, take a look around you. It's not hard to look through the carnage and the wadded up papers to see just how magical gift giving is. You see, giving a gift isn't simply giving ownership of a piece of plastic over to someone else. No, it's something incredibly more than that. It's giving your loved ones a reason to smile. And it doesn't even have to be material. It could be a kiss, it could be a hug. Heck, it could be just coming together into one spot and sharing stories with one another. And those are the greatest gifts we could ever get. So cherish every moment today. Store them in your memories, keep them at arm's length, because that's what Christmas is all about. So Merry Christmas, Happy Hanukkah, and Happy New Year to all of you. I am your host, Chad Tommaso. Thank you for joining me, and have a pleasant holiday season.